Hi, I'm Tim Gibson. I'm going to talk to you about how thick to make a concrete slab. Now, when you're looking at pouring concrete and how thick to make it, really got to look at your application, how much force is going to be on that. You know, for typical, for patio applications such as this, whether it's a concrete or an aggregate patio such as this, uh, typically these are going to be about four inches uh, uh, thick in these areas. Now, if you get into areas like your uh, driveways, uh, then those could be uh, even uh, thicker. Uh, what you want to do, depending on your application, is you can go to your local codes department, you can talk to them, or you can, and they can give you some guidelines as far as uh, the application and what you're pouring your concrete for, then give you some guidelines on how thick that needs to be. Now, some other things that come into consideration when you look at how thick your slab needs to be really is on the formulation uh, of the concrete itself. Uh, typical standard concrete comes with a mix such as this. You have to prepare it uh, over a, uh, a crushed rock base and then have actually welded wire that is set in the concrete to give it its strength. However, some of the new concrete actually has fiber added into the concrete, which takes the place of that wire mesh and it actually makes it, uh, it's, a, it's a basically like a lot of cotton uh, fiber or uh, different type of fibrish material that's mixed within the concrete so uh, it makes it much stronger which means that you can go a little bit thinner than what you normally have to do because you have a greater strength of that concrete. Uh, typically where you can buy your concrete you can get a lot of information uh, talking to those folks where you can buy your concrete from uh, buy the truck tr truckload because when you get into large applications like this uh, typically what you're going to do is you're going to buy that uh, by, the, uh, by the yard. Uh, you know, in most uh, mixes that you find like this in concrete, you know, most of your applications are going to be a couple, two or three yards uh, of concrete anyway, which in most cases is going to be your minimum. So that's the thing to take into consideration is the formulation of your concrete and then the type of application it's going to be in. And again, you can either check with your local concrete suppliers or your codes department to find out exact thicknesses uh, for those applications. I'm Tim Gibson. We're for more information on the thickness of concrete.